Um, happy Wednesday. No, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Take five. Take five. All right, I'm here with Rebecca. We're up on her new bunk bed that we're playing on here, and she's having a good time. She's got her notes for her take five, don't you, Becca? Yeah. Good. Okay. And today we're talking about faith, right? Faith, yeah. Faith, okay. yeah. Good. Faith. We're talking about faith. We talked yesterday that faith is, number one, the substance of things hoped for, and it's, number two, the evidence of things not seen. So faith, according to Hebrews chapter 11, is, number one, substance, and number two, evidence of things that we can't see in our life and where he said we're going to look at some examples in the bible and from the bible um, that god gives us number one is um as we come getting ready the bible says through faith we understand i want us to know that faith gives us understanding okay um, unbelievers don't understand sometimes people who don't believe in god don't understand how a christian can accept and believe the things that they do um, but it's through faith. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. That's what Hebrews 11 says. Um, it says, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Okay? So faith helps us understand, number one, the world around us. And number two, say the world around us. The world around us. And number two, the and, word of God. And number two, the word of God. That's good. Yes. Faith helps us understand our world that we live in, but it also helps us understand God's word because it was spoken. This world was spoken into existence by God's word. Okay. But in doing those things and understanding those things, we can come to a realization of God's will in our life as well. It's not only the world, not only the word of God, but the will of God. We can understand through faith. Okay, I want to look at two people today. We'll look at two of them out of Hebrews 11 um, that lived by faith. Hang on. And we're going to look at them individually and specifically. First one is Abel. The Bible says um, over here in Hebrews 11, um, verse number four, it says, By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. So Abel is the first one that is mentioned about faith. He was also the first man murdered in history. The first man to die physically that we have recorded in the Bible was Abel. And of course, we know Cain killed Abel. Um, both offered sacrifices to God. Yeah, yeah. Both offered sacrifices to God. But... Abel's sacrifice was found more excellent because he didn't bring a sacrifice of the fruits of his hands and the fruits of his labor, but he brought a sacrifice that brought honor and glory to God, a sacrifice that showed faith in God. It wasn't just a sacrifice of, look at all these things I've done. All right, well, let me bring a portion of that as a sacrifice to you, God, of the things I've done. No, it was a sacrifice of faith because it was an animal sacrifice. It was a blood sacrifice representing the sacrifice that was going to be needed to save his soul. And he was counted righteous because he had faith in God's promise. Okay? He had faith in sacrificing to God. So Abel, first of all, had faith in his sacrifices to God. Do your sacrifices involve faith in the promises of God? Because they have to. If we're to be truly sacrificing to God, it needs to be not just something of our own hands. Oh, yeah, this is my sacrifice. No, no, no. It's a sacrifice of faith to God. Hey, bud, stop moving around. All right, number two. Number done, Enoch. Enoch in the Bible is a really cool character um, because the Bible says, um, by faith, Enoch was translated. Okay, did that mean they put him into a different language? No, no, no. He was translated from earth to heaven. It says he was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he was, pleased God. Are you pleasing God today? Enoch walked with God. He walked with God daily and his daily service to God was that he pleased God in everything he was doing. He wasn't sinless, but he pleased God. And God said, come with me, come be with me. And he took him up. They couldn't find Enoch. God took him and said, come be with me. I love that about Enoch. 
Um, and it, verse number six, we'll stop here today. But without faith, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. Who we talk, who's him? That's God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Abel offered a sacrifice of faith to God. Enoch offered a, his service in faith to God. Through faith, we understand the world that we live in, the word of God, and then the will of God that we can be pleasing to him in everything we say and do through faith. All right, we'll look at some more of these examples of faith tomorrow. But until then, God bless you all. Have a great day. Becca, say goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. Have a good day. You want to push the button? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Push the button. <laughs>